Zah, look at that, people. That's called a tattoo. By who? None other than Rick at R&B Mods. What's up, Nitro Nation? Muggy Maniac is here for a quick one. Um, probably the quickest video that I've ever done. You guys are probably thinking like, yeah, cool, man. This guy's babbles so much and rambles on about, you know, this and that. And Actually, I really don't care um, what anybody thinks or anybody says or thumbs up, thumbs down. Subscribe. Don't subscribe. Hey, you could even unsubscribe. If I cuss too much or, you know, if I'm boring you. I really don't care. It's all about the newbies. I had a newbie that asked me. I think he's a newbie. Uh, he asked me a question. I didn't even get his name, but he's obviously in uh, Europe. He's in the UK. He said he has. A, they can't get losies over there. So, um, which if you're a newbie, I you know even though I'm not a losie guy, I, I recommend you know the losie RTR, a good, inexpensive beginner kit. Um, even the race kits. Hundred dollars more, and it's you know not real technical, very easy to work on. A lot of people have them. <clears throat> I mean, you can do a lot of things to them. Uh, it's a great basher. Um, it's just for me personally, it's just the technology is not as as advanced as I would like it, and it's not really at the level that I'm at. Like, not that I'm saying I'm above the low C8 4.0 Truggy. Um, it's just. You know, it's it's dated. I mean, they've already got the new stuff out, Losi stuff out, and, you know, um, I'm just, you know, it's not my cup of tea. To each his own, like you said, it's all preference. I prefer, you know, the creme de la creme, the, you know, the top-notch stuff, um, like Mugen and um, Techno and Kyosho and um, X-Ray. Uh, matter of fact, he, that's what he asked. He said if... He was thinking about an x-ray. Now, what I told him, I said, if you're a new guy, I don't recommend an x-ray. Why? Uh, because your x-rays are a little bit more advanced. Um, the parts are not um, easy to find. I mean, they're out there, but not a lot of them. It's kind of weird. Uh, and they're very the parts are very expensive. I mean, it works for Ty Tessman. Um, you know, he's always up there. But, you know, there's exceptions because, I mean, he is racing. His, I guarantee you his platform isn't anything stock. But he knows it. And it's just it's a more advanced um, vehicle. Either the buggy, 8-scale nitro, x-ray buggy, or the truck. I mean, I, I did a lot of research on them and stuff. I just, you know, the, the parts are really hard to get. Not a, I mean, they're not like everywhere. Um, and, um, you know, the, the parts are even expensive. So, I mean... If you're going to spend that much money, I would personally, whoever, I mean, anybody out there that's thinking about it, I would personally get a uh, Mugen. If you're going to spend six, 600 something bucks, 700 bucks, I'd get a Mugen or a Techno um, as far as Truggies. Um, to me, those are probably the two top out there. Hey, the hot bodies are not bad, too. I almost got a hot body. But again, there's not a lot of parts out for them. There's just a lot of Techno parts. There's a lot of Mugen parts, a lot of Kyosho parts. Um, the hot bodies, the x-rays, um, you know, um, those parts, you know, are, are not easy to get and they're expensive. So anyway, enough of that. So that, hope that answers that guy's question. If you are somebody that's mid level, which means you're kind of intermediate and you're advanced, definitely, definitely get an x-ray. It's, they're, they're not bad vehicles. Um, just keep those things in mind. <clears throat> um, so anyway, the Mugen, by the way, welcome all Chucky Maniacs, Buggy Maniacs, oh snaps, look like she's got robbed, somebody ripped her lungs off, what the hell, that's okay, we got another pair for her, actually we got a, a pair of lungs that was on here, um, we're gonna, we're gonna see if those lungs can scream elsewhere. So, the Mugen is ready, people. That's why I wanted to do this video really quick. I'm getting ready to head out of here, go to my local little bash spot, upload you some video later. Just wanted to kind of update you where I'm at. I'm finally, this thing is ready to run, ready to rock. It's got the, uh, the obviously, it's got the R&B mods, um, Novorossi. 
28.8 Rex Legend. Okay. I didn't really get a chance. It's just barely broken in still. Um, it's on 30%. But I haven't really opened it up. I didn't get a chance to because obviously you see my last video. I had some technical difficulties with the muggy. Um, it was the back uh, outer drive got loose. The uh, set screw um, got loose in here. And it was just spinning. So that's why it wasn't, wasn't hooking up. So... It'll get another shot, but for now, um, I need to get this Mugen out here, man, because I've been waiting and putting a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into this thing, and I had a couple hang-ups towards uh, the end today, finishing it up. As far as I, I, man, it seems like it takes me longer to set, the, put the servos in and, and put the motor in than, than it does to take apart this whole thing and put it back together. So there she is. I'm going to run this Pico in here. I've never ran a Pico pipe. Um, it's a lot like a um, super strong Nova pipe from what I've heard. Don't know. Um, I'm thinking it's got a lot of bottom and a lot of mid, but we'll find out. I don't know. So I'm running the 4101. 4101.001, I think. That's what this is on here. Um uh this filter i always run these big ass outerwares especially on these motors uh motor saver and outerwear i have the low the mugen um air filter you know but I, I don't just run the regular air filter and put an outerwear on it this whole thing is is a whole the whole deal it's a motor saver which has triple layers of foam in it and then it has the outerwear if you just get the outerwear part for your stock um your stock um filter your this helps but you're still gonna have to clean it these motor savers man it takes you about two gallons of fuel running through it and i'm talking bashing the shit out of it dirt whatever before you even got to clean the filter <laughs> so that's why i run them very low maintenance but uh she's ready to rock and roll everything's in there everything's intact um everything's secure Radio's in there, servos, the sav boxes. Um, so, I mean, these sav boxes. Here, I'll show you guys real quick, and then I'm gonna cut this short because I wanna get out of here. Okay. It's already 2:15. Damn. Um, just so like, just to, I mean, these servos. For, you know, $30 servos. Pretty quick. This thing turns sharp too, man. <laughs> Maybe too sharp. I might have to do some adjusting. Anyway, um, Muggy Maniac is going to go get ripping. We're gonna go rip the uh, the uh, Mugen MBX7TR uh, momentarily. So tune in later, and you'll see the video of this sexy beast rocking the modified Novarasi 28.8 Rex Legend. And then we're gonna break in the Pico. That's next on deck. And we're gonna get the Techno gets. Either one of those motors to choose from, either the Pico or the Novarasi. Got a body on deck. This is my new, it's already cut, trimmed, ready to go, man. It's another one of these Phantom bodies for my MBX 5R buggy. So the buggy, before it gets out there brapping, more than likely, after it breaks in this motor, it's going to get a fresh, fresh body on it. We're gonna we're gonna paint this thing up custom. Wait till you see the paint job I'm doing on this sucker. Okay, that thing's gonna get ready for war. But uh, that's it. Got the fuel ready. Got everything ready to go. I'm ready to get out there and start wrapping people. So uh, that's all I got. Uh, shout out to all those guys that you know staying busy. You know Raja 111. You know doing a little bit of bashing, doing a little bit of teaching. We got Elite RC. Shout out to my brother from another mother. He's, both these guys are back east where it's freezing their balls off. And these guys are still, you know, getting getting busy. 
Uh, I got to finish watching that, that radio that Elite uh, uploaded. Might have to get me one of them, too. Looks pretty fresh. Um, I've got enough radios for now. Um, maybe when I get another vehicle, when I get another uh, eight-scale buggy, which I'm looking for right now, then I'll um, get another radio. But until then, I got motors to break in. I got motors to send off to, to get modified. You know, I got to get busy, people. And uh, we're going to go run this badass right here. Ah, this thing's looking sick, though. Thing's freaking ready to rumble, baby. All right, people. That's all I got, man. Catch you guys later. Peace out.